Hi there, Leo. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I do offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. If you do plan on subscribing, please make sure to hit the notification button. That way you'll get notified whenever I post my videos. And if this reading resonates, please make sure to hit the like button. So I'm going to be doing past, present, and future, and I'm going to be pulling out oracle cards at the end. Okay, Leo, so let's get started. Can I get the past energy for Leo, please? Leo. 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 Okay, one more. Leo. Okay, so the past energy for Leo, please. The past energy for Leo. The Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Holy moly. The King of Pentacles in reverse, but with the Knight of Cups. The present energy for you, for Leo, sorry. The Three of Cups in reverse. <laughs> the Page of Cups in reverse. What's going on here? That Ten of... So you could be dealing with an Earth sign or a Water sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but it seems like there are issues at hand here. Um, it's a very interesting message. The Future Energy for Leo. The Hermit in reverse. The King of Cups. The Eight of Wands. The overall energy for the reading. The I see a match here between the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So you're showing up as someone that's very loving, very nurturing. This is a very interesting reading. But it seems like in the past, someone did have romantic feelings towards you. There was love. But I see a lack of stability with the King of Pentacles in reverse. And the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So this could have been someone that viewed this as being a missed opportunity. Because um, I don't see a reconciliation with the Three of Cups in reverse. There's also like a lack of expression with the Page of Cups in reverse. So this is someone that's not really expressing how they feel towards you. And they're quite unhappy that the both of you are not together in the 3D with the Ten of Cups in reverse. So... With the future energy, it's the King of Cups. So this is someone that has a lot of love for you. And if there has been a disconnect, they're having difficulty healing. Uh, with the Hermit card showing up in reverse. It seems like they do want to communicate though with the Eight of Wands. This is talking about like communication, a swift energy exchange. But let me clarify the Queen of Cups. Now I'm really curious. The Queen of Cups. Clarifying the Queen of Cups. Seems like there are romantic feelings, but something didn't work out or didn't pan out. Or the Queen of Cups for Leo. The Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Okay. Clarifying the Queen of Cups for Leo, please. The Queen of Cups. The Two of Pentacles. The Seven of Cups in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse. Twice. One more card, and there you go, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So I see someone weighing their options, tr having to make a choice. This could even be you wanting to make a balanced choice from a place of clarity, though, with the Seven of Cups. I feel like you do have clarity, okay? Um, this couldn't be someone that has clarity regarding you, okay? So they're seeing you as someone that's very loving and very nurturing. 
but yet at the same time not really expressing how they feel with the Page of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So this is someone that's not really making an offer or like Maybe this is someone that's weighing their options, trying to figure out what to do. I feel like they do have clarity regarding you, though, with the Seven of Cups in reverse. So let me clarify the Ace of Pentacles in reverse for the past. There you go, the Eight of Pentacles. It's like, this is someone that's thinking about you. There's heavy contemplation. So there was that potential for a brand new opportunity okay the world but there could have been an ending okay or there could have been a distance between you and this person so i see like an end to a cycle but with strength in reverse i feel like someone did have fears regarding this brand new opportunity in love okay so i see them thinking about you so you could have been like focused on your work with the eight of pentacles well, let me clarify the King of Pentacles in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> so I don't see someone detaching or moving on. Okay, with the Six of Swords in reverse. The Three of Pentacles. I see someone wanting to work things out with the Three of Pentacles. They do have a lot of love for you with the Ace of Cups. So there was that potential for a brand new beginning in love with the Ace of Cups. Let me clarify this Knight of Cups. Clarifying this Knight of Cups. The Sun in reverse. So things didn't take a turn for the positive and I see someone being quite unhappy with the Sun in reverse. Gosh, look at this eight of swords in reverse with the ten of cups there was this potential for wish fulfillment this could have been someone that had to get out of their headspace in order to express how they feel or someone having to get so if someone felt stuck they had to get out of that energy with the eight of swords in reverse like, they do have romantic feelings towards you. There was that potential for happiness and wish fulfillment. But something didn't take a turn for the positive with the Sun card in reverse. Let me clarify the Three of Cups in reverse. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of dissatisfaction. Someone feeling quite unhappy. Uh, with the Nine of Cups in reverse. I'm kind of taken aback by the energy. There you go with the Five of Pentacles. Someone could feel like they've been left out in the cold. or Again, it just seems like if there is a lack of expression, there could very well be fear. Like a fear of being left out in the cold, a fear of rejection. But let me get um, the Two of Wands. So this is someone that's having to make a choice with the Two of Wands. Because... Let me clarify this page of cups in reverse before I say anything. <laughs> what is up with all these the eight of cups dissatisfaction? Like this is someone that has a lot of passion towards you, okay? Um, but they're not expressing it with the page of cups in reverse. So there could very well be a distance between you and this person, okay? Or someone could even seem like they're emotionally distant, but let's see. Let me get one more card. There you go, the Three of Cups in reverse twice. This is like passion, but like some, not a resolution or a lack. So let's see. The Seven of Wands in reverse. Judgment. It's like someone having to make a profound decision and like putting in the effort towards this wish fulfillment, right? Judgment talks about like a fated encounter as well. Because there's passion. Someone's seeing you as the Empress. So you're someone that's very loving, very nurturing, very beautiful. Okay. This could very well be you having to m make a profound decision as well. Okay. Um, this person. 
in order to switch the energy around. So let me clarify the Hermit in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this person is having difficulty healing or just um, the Eight of Wands in reverse. Okay. I feel like this is someone that's having to gain some sort of awareness or listen to their intuition when it comes to this connection. I feel like they're wanting to communicate and express how they feel. Okay, so it's like the Ten of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So this is telling me that you and this person are not together in the 3D. So the King of Cups, there you go. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Pentacles, okay. Look at that. It's like the King of Pentacles in reverse, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. If there is like conflict between you and this person, and just as I said it, there has to be healing or something has to be resolved here, okay? Because you may have pulled your energy back with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This could very well be someone that's having to heal something within their heart space as well. You could be going through the healing process. Or because I see a match, it's like the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. But it's like the Queen of Pentacles in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse. So I feel like you and this person are not together in the 3D. So something has to be resolved here, healed. Um, with the Nine of Pentacles and the Star. So this could be someone that's wanting to balance things out, wanting to heal things. But death though. <laughs> there could very well have been an ending, but... Or there has to be change... Wait a second. Let me get... There you go, the Six of Cups in reverse. Oh, wow, look at that. I see a match between the Emperor and the Empress. So there has to be changes within this dynamic. Someone's having to listen to their intuition, okay? Um, so the Eight of Wands, the eight. So there is like a potential for a passionate new beginning, okay? But let me get... One more card. Temperance. This is really talking about healing. Being patient as well. Being balanced. Could even be talking about like ending something from the past in order to move forward this is beautiful let's see let me get one more card i feel like this is someone that's having to gain some sort of awareness yeah like this is really talking about healing um the king of wands you know what i mean like somebody having to heal something within their heart space and look at that. It's like the King of Wands, the Three of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Nine. This is someone, the Tower. That's someone having to listen to their intuition in order to gain some sort of awareness. So this is really talking about like putting like, like an end to pain or there having to be changes. Okay. Because there's that potential for a passionate new beginning. Somebody having to heal something within their heart space in order to move forward. Okay, so let me get further insight from the Intimate Tarot. I see like the potential for a passion in the beginning, healing... Um, okay. Balance. Okay, so messages further. Messages from the Intimate Tarot for Leo. This is like, it 
starts off a little bit rough, but then it's like, this is beautiful energy. So if someone like listening to one's intuition, I see like healing, balance, patience, changes, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is someone having to make a choice from a place of clarity with the seven of cups in reverse. There you go, the three of wands. So someone could be waiting. There could be a delay uh, with the three of wands. Again, talking about choices. Someone's keeping their feelings hidden under the moon, though. So this is like really someone having to listen to their intuition with the moon and the high priestess. Could very well be you. The Ten of Swords. It seems like there's pain with the Ten of Swords. Like the Ace of Wands. There is that potential for a passionate new beginning with the Ace of Wands. I see someone wanting to communicate. The Four of Swords. Like there, there's someone that's thinking about you. But again, possibly trying to gain insight into the way you feel towards them. Wanting there to be balance where there's like an equal give and take in energy. Thinking about you. Heavy contemplation with the Eight of Pentacles. Hmm. I see someone wanting to communicate. Wanting to heal things. Wanting to balance things out. Uh, let me get one more card. Yeah, like this is talking about like a soulmate with the Six of Cups. Someone is reflecting on this connection. They're thinking about you. Okay, um, let me get uh, messages from the Oracle deck for Leo, please. Leo. That card popped out. Oh, no. Try that again. Messages for... Leo. Okay. Let me get one more card. Okay. That's interesting. Um, card number 19. Express love through gifts. A small token of love can convey great appreciation. So it's like a small token or even a gesture. It doesn't have to be something in the, the physical sense. Okay, so this could even be someone's love language as well. So just to put it out there, but it's like card number 19, which is 10. Okay, or like one. Um, physical touch, a tender touch can mean so much. So like affection or um, card number 47, which is 11. Wow. But look at that, card number 24, which is six. Focus on love, look for the good in everyone, okay? And card number 20, which is two. I love you, these are powerful words. Okay. Like there has to be, this is like really beautiful energy though. It's like someone having to listen to their intuition, okay? Because I see a lot of healing um, the potential for a passionate new beginning, communication with the Eight of Wands. So messages from the Romance Angel deck for Leo, please. Leo. Okay. Oh, this card is... Um, this card keeps popping out. Why? 
there could have been like issues of with co codependency in the past okay i feel like there has to be like an end to something maybe like some sort of pattern uh, but look past life relationship you have known each other before true love this is the romance of a lifetime but codependency so there could have been like issues in the past honeymoon enjoy the bliss of holiday time together okay so there is always that potential and that's my reading for you leo so i'll see you next time take care now